In question 7a, a typical statistics question, they are asking us to uh, fill out a cumulative frequency table. Now here it states, the table below shows the ages to the nearest year of the persons who visited the clinic during a particular week. And in the first column here, we have the ages of the persons in the yellow column here. In the second column, the green column, we have the number of persons who visited the clinic. And in the third column, this purple, light purple, we have the cumulative frequency, okay? Now in part A, they're asking us to copy and complete the table to show the cumulative frequency. And that's an easy two marks, and I'm going to show you how easy that is, okay? Now, this method, when filling out a cumulative frequency table, it only applies to a cumulative frequency table. It doesn't apply to other uh, statistics charts, okay? Now, if you notice, the first thing they have, they have done here, the four in the number of persons, they they took it across here, so that's that four. Now, if you notice in the second row here, uh, in the number of persons, the green row, we have a 11. So what they did, my friends, they add the 11 here to the four up top there. So 11 plus four gave them a 15. Okay, so that's the trend we're going to be using. So what I'm gonna do, I'm going to add this 20 here to the 15. And when I add 20 to 15, I would get a 35. So I'm going to put my 35 here. Let me just quickly change the color. Okay, so here I would have a 35, okay? And simply, the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to add 12 to 35. So 12 plus this 35 now, that would give me a 47, okay? And if you notice, the trend holds, because if I should use this 3 down here, which is this 3 here, and add it to 47, I would have gotten my 50 there. So pretty much it's that easy to fill out the cumulative frequency table. Feel free to subscribe or ask a question if you're still not sure, and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Bye-bye.